My name is Betty Cho. I'm Kenyan and I'm in first year, first semester. I'm pursuing masters in peace studies and international relations. I learned about the program through the conferences that are held here. A friend invited me for a conference. Then I got interested. I saw the poster they get and the the fact that it's majorly offering only one program. I figured out they are specialists in this particular field, and it's a very interesting combination: international relation and peace studies. Of interest to know, um, this is actually my second masters. I did my first masters in media and communication, and I was split between doing PR and uh, development communication. So I majored in development communication and instead of going back for PR, I thought international relations would be a higher level and that's what triggered my interest here. Hekima has very good studying environment, like where we are right now, and the classes are really, really good. I would rate the institution at a five over five. My experience here has been good. Actually, I, la I like the mode of teaching. It's blended both online and um, physical class. So I really enjoy the physical classes, but for those who are not able to, we are able to have both. And we have excellent facilities for both kind of uh, lectures. The lecturers are really friendly and we also easily accessible. The students, it's easy to interact with and learn from each other. We really form a good team and it's a very, very, very good working and learning environment here. The course being international relation, it's also interesting that even the students are from different countries, also the lecturers. So it's a very rich class and it's a very rich kind of teaching because we get to learn from first-hand in, uh, first information other than from the books and we get to share different experiences it's actually very interesting learning with different nationalities. One thing I've learned from the other students is Kenya will relatively enjoy peace because most of the African countries have gone through real conflict and uh, some of them are still enjoying negative peace. But for Kenya, we are privileged to, to have enjoyed peace for a long time. And, and we really appreciate the course and for us it's it's a good way of, of, of getting to learn so that you, you can see the telltale signs and know when to prevent and how to help keep the positive peace, not to turn into negative peace. So we've learned so much from first-hand information, yes. Absolutely. I've actually recommended a few, this course to a few of my friends. Some would be joining later in the year or sometimes next year. We live in a very conflictual world and it's such a global world, it's especially right now, doing this course, it's a very interesting time. If you look around everywhere in Africa, in the world, there's war, there's conflict, and it's, it's very good to, to get to understand it and get to know how to help where you can or how to mitigate where you can. It's a very interesting time in terms of politics, cultural, economic. It's, it's a mix of many things, and it's a very interesting time to learn this course. I would highly recommend it to many people. I would highly recommend this course for the political class. Reason being, most of the conflicts we are seeing and how they're being resolved, and uh, it totally needs political goodwill. And most of them probably are due to political issues. So I'd highly recommend this to, to the politicians. It's, it's a very good base for, for venturing into politics and also for knowing what, what it actually means. I really appreciate that we have peace in the country because of the political turmoil within Africa. So it, it's a very important cause, because once you appreciate peace or once you appreciate what conflict can do in other countries, it will be easy for you as a decision maker to try and uh, ensure we have positive peace in the country. Part of my plan would be to come back and teach. Other than that, I'm interested in dispute resolutions. Actually, the country is leaning towards alternative dispute resolution. So I'd be interested to, to do that. And also, it would be good to serve the country in that capacity as a diplomat and in the capacity where I'm able to combine the two, masters in international relations.